Okay, so you've got your new ski boots. Let's look at how each of the features adjusts on them. Your clips are micro adjustable. Turning them to the right will tighten the clip, to the left will loosen it. What this does is it gives you an infinite range of adjustment between each of the teeth on the buckle plate. On the cuff of your boot, there is a macro adjustment. This allows you to move the buckles out or in to accommodate small or large calves. Your boots are normally held together with nuts and bolts, nothing more complex than that. So it's really, really important that you keep a little bit of maintenance going through the life of your boots. After a few days skiing, you should check each and every bolt with an Allen key to make sure it is tight. This will depend on the model of the boot. Some brands give you the tools, some just treat it like a bicycle where you don't get a toolkit to go with it. On most recreational boots, the sole pads are replaceable. This is normally four screws at the toe and four or five at the heel of the boot. It depends very much on the model. What you must make sure is these are not excessively worn. These are ski boots, not walking boots, so hard surfaces are best avoided. If the boot sole pads get too worn, then your bindings may not release, which is going to be dangerous for your knees. On the outside of your boot, this bolt may be a cuff adjustment. This moves the cuff in or out if you're not kneed or bow legged. We'll set this up for you in store, so you shouldn't need to adjust it. However, if it does become loose, get in touch and we'll tell you where it should be set. On the back of your boot, there may be bolts. Two in this case, sometimes three, sometimes only one. They're for adjusting the flex of the boot, but only temporarily. I would always recommend leaving at least one bolt in the back of the boot. Should you need a permanent adjustment to the flex of your boot, please get in touch and we can make that for you. Okay, so you're going to have to dry your ski boots and to do this the best way is to remove the liners. It's slightly complicated if you've not done it before, but it's very, very simple. Start by opening the ski boot buckles so that everything is released. Take the power strap off, place the boot on its toe, one hand on the back of the shell, one on the liner, and separate. The liner is now out of the boot and ready to dry. No direct heat, just a warm room. So to put the liner back into your ski boot, you're going to turn the shell so it's facing you. Place the liner into the top of the shell, and squeeze either side of the heel, slowly pushing the liner in. When it starts to go around the corner, take your fingers out, position the liner. It's now ready to be clipped up for storage. 